because you were celebrating a big year. Look at your face. 40, <laughs> 40 years. There she is, Kathy Crane. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my word. <laughs> Through oh, the years. Oh my gosh. Oh, how you about that? You haven't changed a bit. Sure. Mm hmm. Well, that sure you, have thank changed, you, though. Thank my goodness. <laughs> Oh my, Quite it's been a, a while it and, and you know what? Every day is fun. Every day is fun. I don't very believe nice. you guys did that. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anyway. All right. On to the now, weather now. The, now that we've distracted well, you. Well, now that you distracted me, I'm going to give you a lousy forecast. How's that sound? <laughs> a big change to our weekend forecast. Well, one you may not like and no change to our rainy pattern that we're stuck in as we currently take a Look from SkyCam 2 atop PPL building. Yes, indeed, SkyCam 1 is looking really bad tonight. Our current temperature is 44, dew point at 40, relative humidity at 85%. Winds are right of the east at 6, and the barometer is 30.15 inches. Cannot believe this. Friday, today, we did have a rainy start, but it really was delayed, folks. We didn't really see a lot of that rain pushed into the immediate area until about noon. But when it finally got started, boy, did it keep on coming. And I'll tell you what, folks. We will still have rain throughout the evening hours. Some heavy, the, the orange and yellows are very, very heavy shower activity, especially down towards Philadelphia. But that is starting to move up into our direction. All of this is going to be exiting off the coast later on tomorrow morning. As a matter of fact, probably before daybreak. So most of us will pick up a quarter to a half an inch of rain, maybe up to an inch to places to the south of us. Overnight lows going down to 35 degrees and tomorrow's high is 58. Still on the cool side. However, it is going to be cloudy but dry after we get rid of some maybe leftover issues in the morning. And then by Sunday, this is the problem, folks. We did have a warm front moving through. It's going to be delayed around 6 to 12 hours, and that will not come into effect until Monday. So Sunday, it looks like we're still unsettled a little bit with cooler temperatures. And then that warm front finally brings us near record highs on Monday, around 81 degrees. Unbelievable. Can't wait. And however, we can wait for this cold front. The cold front is going to be slamming into that hot air. And guess what? Perfect play ground for severe thunderstorms Monday night into Tuesday. Overnight low tonight, 35 degrees, and keep the umbrella handy. And tomorrow, it looks like some sunshine after a little bit of breaks in the clouds, and cloudy with a period of rain or drizzle on Sunday, but windy, much warmer Monday, late night thunderstorm possible as we head to near record highs. Back to 67, which isn't really all that bad. It's still warmer than where we should be on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And maybe still a little bit unsettled on Tuesday and Wednesday, but all in all, not bad. Much better than it has been, <laughs> at least. And you will give me the name of somebody who put that together, won't you? Ne never. <laughs> Mr. Seal, congratulations. Thank you. It wouldn't be 69 years without you, Kathy. Thank you know you. that. All right. Bye. Well, Newark Liberty International Airport is